that note, I wanted to thank some of my neighbors who drove all the way down from Audubonville, St. Paul, East, Marty and Kevin Summers, and Renaissance man Michael Shaw. Truck. 
couple of skinny boys jump out. She swings this basket that smells like chicken from Ashens. She tells my mother, let them boys haul off their limbs. She hands me the basket, try to look inside immediately. It's all there, chicken, white bread, and sweet pickles. Next week, we go to the post office. There's a letter from my father and money. Pointed by Twinkies and Cups and a basket full of food Yajie. Then mother says, we're going to the city. We drive 30 miles down a two-lane highway to a nursery, kind of plants. She buys daisies and periwinkles that fill our Plymouth with enormous fragrance. Now, you all know where all those flowers are going, right? Well, by the time my father comes home, Mother's park is beautiful. Editor and Yokarchi Chieftain has written about her mowing and weeding and planting flowers. Her name has appeared in his over the fence column five weeks in a row. And that's a record for a town that don't piddle much with its history, except for what's in the week of the paper. And I begin to understand there are people like Helen who can see to the bottom of things, and there are people like my mother who can imagine what things could be and make them happen. Just imagine. This whole, thank you so much. I wanted to say that through this whole story, we don't know what Mother's name is, right? But I thought I'd just let you tell her. I, I thought she had let you tell her. Mom, are you there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she steals the show every time.